<laughs> laughing about the title <laughs> of the previous video. Uh, if you want to know the inspiration for it, it came from, uh, um, I had the name, uh, I'll be a good boy, I promise, uh, Disturbed, <laughs> uh, the music group, um, Sickness, Down With The Sickness, I think, something like that. <laughs> and, uh, referring in the song to the mother who's beating the boy. <sighs> rather than the dad. <laughs> Alright. So, question number four. Alrighty. So, yeah. No. Yeah. Alright, question number four is DNA. Uh, and DNA analysis has concluded that Native American Indians do not originate from the Middle East or from Israelites but rather Asia, rather from Asia. Not entirely correct. Uh, first of all, DNA requires uh, living persons or DNA samples. Uh, Native American Indians do not like the, their burial grounds being dug up, especially for scientific research. Uh, and being moved as they have problems with Utah Mormons who uh, the government wants to to develop sacred holy lands for Putin. You don't know about that scam? Yeah. And Republicans are all up in arms about Uranium One of the Hillary Clintons. But, uh, yeah, then they go and pull the Bears ears uranium stunt, but uh, don't worry. Putin fired John Huntsman Jr. to run for governor to get it done. So yeah. All right, DNA. Uh, DNA. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, uh, tells us that we did not come from. Uh, Adam and Eve at 4000 BC. Uh, my DNA uh, originates in Egypt, uh, especially with my mother's family, uh, my mother's lineage, the matriarchal line. Uh, my dad's lineage, uh, they were immediately migrating out of Egypt into Mesopotamia. And he connected with the Neanderthals first. Uh, my mother took a longer time to uh, merge with Neanderthals, to migrate to Neanderthals. Uh, so uh, Egypt is uh, my origin of, uh, according to my DNA. And uh, uh, they've just done research last year, uh, a year ago actually, uh, scientists uh, from the scientific journal uh, got information from that uh, they did a study of uh, 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 Egyptian pharaohs and found that they were connected to Canaanites. Now Zawi Hawass was infuriated how dare you! <laughs> Science is fake news! Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so, read your Book of Abraham, Mormons. Chapter 1. Pay close attention. Uh, but, uh, 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 the uh, DNA for America uh, yes, uh, specifically on the West Coast Indians. Uh, the uh, Chinese around 300 AD had ships that reached uh, the coastline of California because the, uh, their boats had sunk uh, into the waters 
there on the coastline, so the uh, marine divers had found them. And uh, scientists, oceanographers, did the research to date them and identify them. And uh, so, yeah, the Chinese had come to America uh, in around 300, and thus would have bred and intermingled with the American Indians that were there at the time. And so, yes, there's going to be Chinese DNA that way. East Coast, however, has the Vikings. The Vikings came to the Americas, uh, and uh, obviously uh, intermingled and bred with the Native Indians. And thus, uh, we get Viking DNA. If we were to actually do a thorough research, there are many native tribes in, that were in America and that were slaughtered in America by American colonists. Uh, and those that still remain, there's still numerous different groups. Uh, the Solomon Spalding book. <laughs> Please, Dad, don't beat me. <laughs> uh, was uh, uh, a fiction tale as Solomon Spalding uh, identified all the mound Indians in uh, upstate New York. Uh, and all the way over to Michigan and, and all that stuff and so he took all those archaeological sites put them in his book and created a fiction tale of two tribes one the Lehites, one the Nephites uh, and then uh, splitting into Neat Lamanites as uh, they war amongst each other here in America having come from Jerusalem. Uh, and so uh, uh, that's his claim. Uh, I've heard apologists claim that the DNA comes from the Middle East. I don't trust apologists. They lied. They confessed to lying. I can't trust them other than the fact that they lied. And, uh, and so, uh, it is interesting though, uh, uh, was it National Geographic? I think it was National Geographic. I uh, did a little video clip that I found about uh, uh, southwestern uh, Illinois Indians, the Plain Indians, uh, who built mound pyramids. And uh, we're showing all those places that they had in the city that they developed there in, in western Illinois. So, yes, Nauvoo, just north of that. Uh, uh, Little Egypt of the Knights Templar caves, where it was rumored to have the buried plates, uh, is there in southern Illinois. And, uh, uh, and so, yes, the Knights Templar also came to the Americas and would take my daughter as tribute. That's what was done. When you meet new cultures, the chief gives the daughter in marriage to form the bond between the two groups. And uh, thus springs... Knights Templar DNA as well in America. So uh, uh, you'd have to go back a long ways because uh, uh, there's DNA oceanic evidence in the Sahara of Egypt that uh, there's whales, whale bones in the Sahara Desert. You notice the Giza pyramids they've got water erosion damage the tallest of the pyramids cuts off with the water erosion 10,500 BCE 
was the dating of the worldwide flood. Not 3500 or 3000 BC. And uh, uh, that means that the towers were before the flood, not after. And that they were in Egypt, not in Mesopotamia. As the Bible author, who was post captivity Jew from Babylon, tried to merge the two cultures together into one. Uh, the pyramids of Giza also correspond with the Milky Way and uh, the stars during that time period. Remember the earth is tilted and on an axis as it spins so the North Star keeps changing every thousands of years. Uh, I think we're due to change again in another thousand or two. I have to again check my re references. Uh, uh, um, and so uh, uh, the uh, DNA of Chinese, in case you wondered, comes from Egypt. That's what they found with Chinese DNA, that they originate from Egypt. I've done the research to show the, uh, with my Paleo-Hebrew discovery that Chinese also corresponds to Paleo-Hebrew, which corresponds to Egypt Egyptian. And so even though they use linear, uh, like uh, the uh, Egyptian cursive writing of hieroglyphics, or hieratic, uh, it's still from the same symbol meaning uh, for each stroke and then Chinese do a combination glyph for each uh, word whereas Egyptian has each picture glyph combined with other picture glyphs to create the words with the uh, determinatives which is what Paleo-Hebrew does use determinatives with their two-letter vocabulary, not three-letter of Semitic. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so Chinese, being in America, Chinese come from Egyptian, Middle East. So, sorry, <laughs> Solomon Spalding was correct on that, that everything comes from the Middle East, eventually. Uh, but it's a doesn't matter. That's not how you prove the Book of Mormon true. That's a false, false claim. You first have to prove the Book of Mormon is a legitimate record, and you can't do that without the plates.